Hello YouTube, I'm Torman Brad and in this video I'm going to show you how to get King Gen working with Alpha 20. Okay, we'll open up King Gen. This is version 13.1. That was the last available release. And the first thing I'm going to do is go into the advanced settings and set everything to default. So there are no custom settings whatsoever for the sake of demonstrating this. However, to ensure that we do get as many traders as possible so we can test to see if the new wrecked trader PY works, I'm going to increase the number of traders to increased. And then I'm going to go back. We also know that the minimum size that a world is now in the Alpha 20 version of 7 Days to Die is 6K. So for safety, I'm going to set this to 6K also. And then to test out exactly what happens if we don't make any other changes, I'm just going to say generate world. So remember, I'm not using any custom POIs. I'm not using a custom height map. And I'm certainly not using custom roads or water or anything like that. This is just the basic random world gen for King Gen with no settings other than the increased number of traders and the size set to six. And there we go. Now, of course, this stage will work because it's completely disconnected to seven days to die. It's only using the information that came with King Gen. So it doesn't know at this point that we're looking at uh, making an Alpha 20 map. So it's using the original vanilla POI list. And first of all, straight away, it already looks pretty good because it's got the biomes split up nicely instead of that rigid pattern that Alpha 20 is using. So what happens if we load this into Alpha 20? Does it actually work? Well, let's try it out. So I'm going to go into Open King Gen Worlds. There's the new one I've just created. I'm going to rename that to King Gen A20 Test. I'm going to say two because I've already obviously done this. Then I'm going to right click on it and say copy. Then back in King Gen, open seven days to die worlds. And there are the list of worlds that I have in my seven days to die. Some of those are alpha 19. And I'm just going to paste it in there. There it is. You can see test, test two is the one we've just created there. And then I'm going to quit out of this and we'll go into seven days to die. So in the game, we'll say new game. We'll change it to King Gen test two. And I'll just change that to test two, just so we know it's 6K. I'm not changing any other settings. This is just my default settings. They don't have any impact on the maps anyway. So let's start. I'm also, while this is loading, I'm going to hit F1 and you should see it pop up. It's going to be a little bit hard for you to read. Then we're just looking for any red error messages that come up and you'll see a few. There we go. Prefabs, garages, business, garage, bus, school does not exist. All right, so we've got some red error messages and they all seem to be prefabs. So let's just have a look at exactly what we've got. Come back out of there. So I'm just going to go into DM, escape that H, and then we'll flick around the place and have a look and see what we've got. Well, would you believe it? Look at that. So we are in a King Gen map. However, it threw up a load of red error messages. And what were those messages? Well, they were basically the naming system has changed for some of the POIs. So King Gen's using its original POI vanilla list. However, some of those POIs are renamed. So therefore the game can't find those files to be able to load those POIs in, but it has brought some in. So what else has gone wrong? Let's see what else is missing. Well, the obvious thing here is the roads. The roads are just the basic system. They don't have the lines down the roads. King Gen doesn't know about the tile system, so it won't have grouped the buildings into those nice tiles with the four POIs in one thing that fit nicely. It's had a go there, but not, not done a great job. The junctions, we just have things like the basic signs because King Gen hasn't referenced this new file system that's used for the roads. Or the color system perhaps the other thing that's happened here is you'll notice yep we've got the wasteland biome and it's the new wasteland biome this is the combined burnt and waste one so let's have a look at our preview and have a look at the biome setup that we've got here so the easiest one for me to find is going to be probably down in the south this one here and this one here down in the southeast so we've got the wasteland and burnt biome. Obviously they don't exist now in Alpha 20. They've both been combined. So what exactly is this map information translating to in Alpha 20? Well, let's have a look. We'll go back to the game and in the south, in the middle of the map, roughly there it is next to the snow. There we go. Well, we've got the new wasteland biome. 
All right, and if we go across back to the southeast and go up from that, there's the other one, and it is the wasteland biome. So it's translating both the burnt biome and the wasteland biome to the new combined burnt wasteland that we've got. So that's worked fine. Okay, well, if I hit the escape menu, because I'm in developer mode, I've got this option to open the POI teleporter. Now let's test out some of the traders. You can see there's still quite a lot of POIs in here. So now let's test out the trader. There it is. That's the new trader wrecked POI. So that has spawned in the world. And let's go back in there again and just check. You can see there we've got, uh, what have we got? Eight. We've got eight traders in our world. So, uh, and quite a variety. We've got Bob, Jen, Joel, Hugh, and wrecked. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that there's a lot of POIs missing. So let's see if we can fix that. The naming convention seems to be the issue for these POIs. So let's see if we can fix that by creating a custom POI list. So if I click on that button and we have a look for where our POIs are stored, mine are on my hard drive, uh, program files 86, down to Steam, down to Steam apps, up to common, seven days to die, data. Then in prefabs, we've got POIs. So if I select that as my source folder for the prefabs, now it's asking me where I want to save this new list. Well, I want to save that on my desktop in my KingGen folder. You can save this wherever you want, as long as you remember where it is. In KingGen, I've got a POI list folder, and then I need to give it a name. I'm going to call it A20 um, underscore POI underscore list. Call it whatever you want. We'll save that. And now I'm going to tell King Gen to use this new list. So in the POI list, instead of vanilla, let's go to custom list, go to our POI list folder, and there it is, A20 POI list. Open that, we'll go back, and we'll say generate world. So that's the exact same method you would use if you had added custom POIs to your POI folder. You would just create a new POI list, and it would add those custom POIs to the list for you. And then obviously you would have to tell it to use that new list. And there's our preview, and that looks like a pretty good map to me. So if I go up to the stats at the side here, I can get a list of what's actually been placed in terms of POIs. And if I scroll through the list all the way down to the T's for Trader, there we go. We can see we've got two Trader Rects, so there's a good chance that we'll see if the new Trader Rect POI has been placed in the map. Okay, same as before, going to Open King Gen Worlds. There's the one we've just created. I'm going to rename it again to King Gen. A20 test three, then right click on it and say copy. Go back into King Gen, go open to open seven days to die worlds, right click in there, paste it, and then we'll just load up the game. So back in seven days to die, let's say new game, then we'll select the test three option and give it a name. Let's call it test three and just say start. Then straight away, I'm going to hit F1 and keep an eye out for any red error messages. Yep, no red messages. But let's test it out again. I'm going to hit DM while the F1 menu is still open. Escape out of that. Just get rid of those messages there. Hit H. We'll have a look. And here is our world. So again, the biome's still working. We've still got the new wasteland combination biome. And we've got the snow in the right places and they're all nice and dotted around which king gen even in the random mode does a great job of now bear in mind that you can obviously if king gen is working to this extent you can redraw where your biomes are and you can even use your own height map but let's have a quick look in the teleporter for the traders and we'll just check and see if trader wrecked is the new one so there we go i've just teleported to Trader Rect, and it is indeed the new Rect POI. And just to test out one of the other new POIs, just to make sure it's spawned, it's one of the Restore Power Quests. So I went into Open Teleporter in the Escape menu because I'm in uh, Developer Mode, and typed in Lot, and Lot Town, Lot Downtown Filler 01 is the Restore Power Quest. So if we have a look at that, obviously I can't activate the quest, but just looking to see, yeah, the POI is here. And there is the 
quest for after 10 o'clock if we get that as a mission to do. So now this means we can use our own custom height maps, we can draw our own biomes, we've got the new POIs, you could even add your own POIs as long as they conform to the new block system. And if you'd be interested in seeing a video on that, then let me know in the comments. What is missing though? Well, obviously it's the roads. And because the roads are missing, I suspect it also means things like the flyovers are missing, the um, culverts at the side of the road are missing, and possibly the um, sewer system will also be missing because that works in conjunction with the roads. Well, it's a work in progress. We're getting there, and I don't think that's a bad start. Please give the video a like. I'd really appreciate that. Visit my channel and have a look to see if there's anything else that might take your fancy. I've been Tom and Brad, and this is getting King Jen to work in Alpha 20. It's sort of working, yeah. Bye-bye.